Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Will everyone please take your seats? May I have your attention just for a second before we get going? As we're having a seated ceremony today, may I ask that you remain seated so the photographer can move up and down the aisle freely. They've been tasked to take lovely snaps of Jack and Dulcie. First, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone here and thanking each and every one of you for being here on the most happy of days. We're gathered here on this most memorable occasion, the wedding of Jack William Merchant and Dulcie May Washington. By your presence, you celebrate with them the love they have discovered in each other and you support their decision to commit themselves to a new and caring relationship. Marriage is a bond to be entered into only after considerable thought and reflection. By making this commitment today, Jack and Dulcie's relationship will become a stronger, better and deeper. Today, Jack and Dulcie demonstrate their devotion to each other by dedicating themselves to, uh, to a life together and they show their respect for each other. Today is a celebration of the love, care and kindness shared between these two wonderful people. Jack and Dulcie, their children, Amanda, Jeffrey, Sally, Jack, Kim, Paul, Peter, Linda and Laura, thank you for your attendance today to witness their commitment to one another as they begin the rest of their lives together. My name is Sam Wallace and it is my pleasure to officiate this marriage today. I am duly authorised by law to solemnise marriages according to law. Before you are joined in marriage, in my presence and in the presence of these witnesses, I am to remind you of the solemn and binding nature of the relationship into which you are now about to enter. Marriage, according to law in Australia, is the union of two people to the exclusion of all others, voluntarily entered into for life. There are thousands of important moments in our lives, yet this is one to add to the highlight reel for Jack and Dulcie. We both have plenty of highlights to share. To declare your love in front of those you love, because despite all of our difference, differences, love is something we can all share. Deep abiding affection, the magical and compelling shared impulses that makes us seek each other's company is among the greatest gifts of human experience. Any of us who have been fortunate enough to find and express the kind of loving devotion that we are celebrating here today knows that it is an awesome and a beautiful thing. At this time, I would like to share three pieces of advice which Jack and Dulcie uh, have shared with me, and I hope you continue to follow this advice for as long as you both shall live. Number one, be consistently grateful for this precious person who has chosen to make a life with you. Number two, be generous with compliments, be attentive and helpful. The world can be a tough place and any of us can be subject to rough handling. Each of you can, by your tenderness towards each other, kind words and thoughtful actions, make your marriage and your home an uplifting refuge. Last, but perhaps most importantly, make truth and caring the unfailing bedrock of your lives together. A happy, loving marriage is built on trust, respect, and care. My hope for you is this, that you will delight in each other's company to feel gratitude for your great fortune in having found each other. Jack and Dulcie are extremely grateful that so many of you, their family and friends, have travelled such long distances to arrive here on this special day. On behalf of their family, Dulcie's son, Geoffrey, would now like to share a reading. A reading from Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, love does not boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Thank you, Jeffrey. Now, on to the important part. Jack and Dulcie, can I please ask you to hold hands? Jack, do you take Dulcie to be your wife? I do. 
Will you love her, comfort her, honour her and respect her? I will. Do you promise to share your life with her and do you pledge that you will love and care for her with tenderness and affection through all the varying experiences of your life? I do. And Dulcie, do you take Jack to be your husband? I do. Will you love him, comfort him, honour him and respect him? I will. Do you promise to share your life with him? And do you pledge that you will love and care for him with tenderness and affection through all the varying experiences of your life? Thank you. Okay. Jack, repeat after me. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Jack William Merchant. Jack William Merchant. Take thee. Take thee. Dulcie May Washington. Dulcie May Washington. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Dulcie, repeat after me. I call upon the persons here present. I call upon the persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that I. Dulcie May Washington. Dulcie May Washington. Take thee. Take thee. Jack William Merchant. Jack William Merchant. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. Jack and Dulcie, by the vows you have promised each other, you continue your journey together. Your hands thus joined form an infinite circle, symbolising which has no beginning and no end, and is the love that you share. Jack and Dulcie would like to invite Jack's son, Peter Merchant, to come forward with the rings. Place this ring on Dulcie's finger. Please repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. And commitment to you. And Dulcie, as you place this ring on Jack's finger, please repeat after me. I give this ring. I give this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love and commitment to you. And commitment to you. Ladies and gentlemen. Jack and Dulcie have declared before you all, their family and friends and loved ones, that they will live together in marriage. They have symbolised this with the joining of hands, sharing of vows and exchanging of rings. It is with great pleasure and an absolute privilege of mine to declare Jack and Dulcie to be husband and wife. Jack, you may now kiss your lovely bride. <laughs> Jack and Dulcie invite Jack's son, Paul Stephen Merchant, and Dulcie's daughter, Amanda Elizabeth Washington, to be witnesses in signing of the marriage certificate. We ask for your patience as we complete this most important of tasks. Sign again there, Dulcie. And Jackie can sign that one there. And then this is the final one. So uh, Jackie can sign there. And Dulcie, you can sign over there. Very good. Okay, your job is done. I'll now get the witnesses to uh, take over. So, um, Amanda and uh, Paul, you guys can take a seat. You guys can. So, I need your signature there, Paul. And Amanda, yours there. And then, there, Paul. And then, Amanda. Is 
done. I'm just gonna quickly finish off by signing. Patients. Jack and Dulce would like to invite you over to the Happy Days Retirement Village Garden area for a drink and some canapes after the ceremony. They would love for you to hang around and be a part of the photos. It was an absolute pleasure to be a part of the ceremony today. This couple are such a caring couple, caring for each other, their family and friends. I thank you and wish you a loving, caring and happy marriage. And so, it is without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jack and Dulcie Merchant. Woo!